Just passing by You'll be coming home with me tonight We'll be burning up like neon lights Be still in my heart Cause it's freaking out It's freaking out Right now Shining like stars Cause we're beautiful We're beautiful Right now You're all I see video and I am a freshman and I have been in high school for about five weeks now um, maybe a little bit more maybe a little less I'm not exactly sure but first of all I just want to let you know that I'm gonna be covering like everything and anything but a little disclaimer I'm not talking about certain people in this because this has happened to me multiple times in this realm and this is gonna be more of one of those things if you're younger than me um, this might not be as appropriate it might still be appropriate, but, like, don't try to be anyone you aren't. Just be yourself. That's the one thing I have to do as a disclaimer because high school is totally different than middle school and elementary school. So any of my younger people that are watching this, please don't take this as do this stuff in middle school because that is not what I'm trying to tell you guys to do. So, without further ado, lots of notes on here. Um, I'm gonna get started with that, but I would like you guys to help get my friend on YouTube. Her name's Jenna. She's also a very loyal subscriber. Um, help get her to 300 subscribers. She's amazing. She's fabulous. Oh, I love her. She's so cute. She's actually, as we speak, um, later tonight, she's going to be having a Fashion Barbie 16 marathon, watching all my old videos. Um, so maybe if you guys ever want to do that, that's kind of funny because you guys get to go back and see how awkward my editing was it's still pretty awkward but you know but um basically that is what I wanted to say if you guys can click my face right here um to go subscribe to her or you guys can click the link down below to go subscribe to her help her get to 300 when she gets to 300 she's going to be doing either like a special video or something she told me she was going to do something so help get her to 300 and let's just get started. Hey guys, so the first thing is I'm going to go like basically what happened um and it's not going to really be like bam 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 it'll more be like you know. So on the first week of school I was like the night before school I stayed up super late and I shouldn't have done that I was that was like the wrong thing to do but I'm pretty sure every year I do that so I mean it was just normal. So on the first day of school I got to school and we went through all the stuff but at lunch two guys whistled at me and I was like this is like a little bit weird because I wasn't used to guys being so out there and um, they you can't really tell who is a freshman, a sophomore, a senior, or a junior. So it was really hard for me to figure that all out. So, I mean, I honestly, I have all different people in my classes. In my English class, I have a super senior, which means that they had to repeat their senior year. I don't know. It got, like, super crazy. I actually made the badminton team, so I've been so busy, and that's why I've only been doing, like, two videos a week for YouTube. But, um... First, I'm going to go on with sports. So for sports, I made a lot of friends fast because on the team, we all practice every day after school together, and it's pretty easy for us to get along, and we all have the same type of interest for sports. I am um, for badminton, so that was pretty easy, But the, and we always have to hang out, so we kind of need to get along. But the thing that really kind of set me apart from everyone there is I act so stupid that it's, like, hilarious. Everyone thinks they're just like, oh, Sydney. Yeah, but um, then I just I'm kind of going off of this little sidebar. So when I look down, don't 
you know, don't be jealous. A lot of the guys are short, but a lot of them got really tall over the summer. So they're either my height or a little bit taller, which is really great because now there aren't as many short guys. I mean, there's a few, but the tendency, they're starting to grit their growth spurts, so that was really good. But the one class that I think I had the most trouble with at first, that was just like, oh my god, I'm going to throw up, I feel sick, I don't want to have this class. Um, until I changed my disposition about this class, it was probably one of my worst classes, but now I look forward to it. It's actually PE because they basically base it off military because they want to, they want to scare you. Um, especially for so many PE classes at the same time. We have Sistos, two freshman classes, and two advanced classes. So there's five classes going on at the same time. So that means there's five or six PE teachers. And that's just a little bit crazy because um, they're always watching you and you can't really get... Another thing I noticed on my first week, everyone at school has piercings or tattoos. Or they smoke. I mean, I have friends who have piercings, but like... They don't have ear piercings. They have nose. They have like septum piercings. They have nose piercings. They have snake bites. They have um, they have their dermals pierced. They have their dimples pierced. Like they have um, this part pierced. They have their they have their everything pierced. So everyone has gauges and piercings. And I'm over here just like that must have hurt. But um. At my old school, we weren't even allowed to have our piercings. Like we had to take them out. So it was definitely a different. Thing to see. I mean, a lot of the guys are really hot with piercings, so it doesn't bother me, but some of my friends do get bothered by that. And then there is a huge group of us that sit together at lunch, which is really fun for me because I like to have a lot of friends. I don't really like having enemies, and I'm friends with everyone I know except for this one girl who wanted to start a fight with me in math class. Ugh. I don't, I, like, we're, I'm trying to be nice to her, but, um, it was kind of, like, out of the blue, so it was kind of weird, but, um, I'll get into that in a second. But I try to be friends with everyone. If you guys, if like any of you guys that are going, that go to my high school, if you guys ever have a problem with me, just come to me because I'm one of those people who's just like, I love you. We're friends. Like, I on. Oh, gotta wet my hand. Is my hand is really white. But I really, I'm not one of those people who's gonna be like, I hate you for no reason. I really don't want to be enemies with anyone, and so it's really fun because I like randomly yell at people. I'm like, hey, I love you, or like I give everyone hugs. Even if I don't know them at school, I'm that girl who's like, I hug everyone. I'm a very loving person. <laughs> oh, but another thing, another thing that, um, another funny thing is a lot of you guys that are watching this might go to my high school because I did not realize how many people watch my videos. Because when I was at school, random girls would come up to me and they're like, I watch your view YouTube videos. And I was like, are you cute? are you serious? And they actually do. So that was really fun and crazy. And that was definitely one of those. Okay, but two things. Always, I always recommend that you guys go to the mixers that they have at school and the football games and any other sporting events. Because it is one of those things where you are going to get involved. And it's better to get involved your freshman year instead of being the awkward person who gets involved there like junior year and for and like they didn't get involved when they were freshmen and when you're a freshman it's so many it's so nice because everyone's new and no one is going to feel awkward so it's really nice because everyone feels awkward so no one feels awkward does that make sense and I definitely recommend if you guys are like brand new to your high school and you guys might be older just get involved because no matter what if you don't like getting involved, then you don't have to, but try it at least once because I bet you'll find that group of friends that are just like you and you guys all get along and you guys can go to the events together. But I was super duper excited when dress code did not apply. Thank you. It applies, but it doesn't at the same time. They really don't dress code you. Um, I was only dress coded one time after school, which I was not sure about that, but um, I didn't have to change or anything. They just said to me, don't wear that to school again, and I'm or to school again and I didn't get dress coded so I mean it's not really a big deal the dress code so I'm really happy about that because when I buy stuff I'm not gonna have to worry is it three fingers is it two fingers is it one finger is it no fingers like is it or is it knee length or whatever um so I was really happy about that because the dress code really didn't apply but another thing is guys are so sexual it's not even funny um now and lately I like a lot of guys have crushes on me at school and it's really funny because it's like 
I'm not the prettiest person there, but I think they think that I'm a girl who will just be a fun person to be around because I have a lot of guy friends and I'm really happy because I made it clear to them the one thing that I tell all of you girls is make it clear to them that you're not going to do anything with them you just want to be friends and they might get embarrassed for a second that you friend zoned them but honestly it was the best decision ever because they respect me and it's amazing and it's awesome I have a bunch of friends and it's really fun because I'm the person that like I hope they know that they can always talk to me and um, we always hang out and so it's really nice because it just gives that and then also do not go into peer pressure the one thing that I think I don't regret is when I was at the mixer and this drunk girl she was trying to offer everyone alcohol I, w I said no and a bunch of other people said no but don't ever give in to peer pressure don't do drugs I have some friends who do drugs and I'm not one of those people I'm not going to do that and I don't want to get involved with that type of thing so I just stay away from it when they're doing that but otherwise you can be friends with people like that you just don't want to give in to what they're doing if it's not your type of thing you know because you don't want to do something because everyone else is doing it so hopefully you guys you know liked it I wrote a lot down and I kind of paraphrased it and made it pretty short and sweet just so you guys can kind of figure out my high school reaction and my tips for you guys in case you guys haven't started yet or if you guys watching this and you're just like okay let's hear a little bit about Cindy talking because I'm not very good at these talking videos so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to me if you aren't already and to all that glitters 24 and her name's Jenna so I'll see you guys next time bye